Hello Dua Lipa, welcome to Mike's Mic, my name is Mike, and to everyone that's watching that isn't Dua Lipa, hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mic, my name is Mike. Interesting pattern that you're wearing today, I wouldn't have worn it myself, but it looks good on you, so. I'm standing in front of the green screen that my sister and I whipped up in 0.03 seconds, resources were low, but we really needed to get it done, because this is a very important message. There's been a major world event that I haven't really discussed on my channel thus far, and that is the release of Dua Lipa's second studio album, Future Nostalgia. So, Dua, I would say that you absolutely went off. You made so many points with this album, I'm gonna give it a 10. That means that there are two 10s in this video. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... This doesn't apply to Dua Lipa because she has a galaxy brain, but the rest of you, I can see that the two brain cells that you have remaining are struggling to work out what this video is about. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is going through every track in Future Nostalgia and telling you how it makes me feel in terms of images. So here's the fantastic high distinction Ducks of the College A plus album cover. So track one, Future Nostalgia, title track, if you will, makes me feel like I am about to rob a bank. I haven't rubbed it yet. It's on my to-do list. And I also feel like I'm robbing it in the style of Italian job, you know, very artsy, very cool in the Mini Coopers. And also it feels like in my vehicle, we have Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Paris Hilton. And we're all wearing these sunglasses. The reasoning for the sunglasses is not clear. Track two, Don't Start Now. Well, as you can see, two of the characters that were in my vehicle in track one, Miss Lindsay Lohan and Miss Britney Spears, are available in track two. Hmm, much to think about. I highlighted a specific Britney track and let me explain why. Opening brackets, I got that close brackets, boom, boom, fit the Yin Yang Twins by Britney Spears in her 2003 studio album, In The Zone, starts with the lyrics, I wanna go to the club and get crunk with Britney. And that's how I feel when I hear this song. I wanna go to the club and I wanna get crunk with Britney. Now, what am I actually gonna do in the club? Well, hello. Here we have the iPod commercial from 2000 and whatever. That's exactly what I will look like. And here we have the reactions of people also in the club watching me dance with Britney and they also listen to the album and they think it's fantastic. Track three, Cool, hits different. Here we have some screen caps from my favorite movie, Lady Bird. And when I hear this song, I can imagine this kind of vibe. Then Miss Hannah Montana here is showing you how I felt when I heard the song for the first time. Then I put a picture of Jessica from Parasite because she's just an icon. She's the epitome of cool. She literally invented cool. The word cool did not exist before the movie Parasite came out. I tried to find a picture of someone running into a wall because it makes me want to run into a wall really fast, but in a good way. And it's hard to find a non-demonetizable picture like that. So this picture here represents how I feel. I want to drive really fast in a pink, Louis Vuitton motorcycle. Track four physical really makes me want to get physical. So I put the Nike Run Club because I'd be running and I'd be listening. Track five levitating. Mm, as Naomi said, we've decided to ascend. When she said levitating, she meant you will literally float when you listen to this song. I heard this song and I rose off the chair. That's the second time I've been able to fly. As you can see, Paris has returned for episode five after leaving episode one in the vehicle. And she's listening to this song on repeat for multiple, multiple, multiple hours. In fact, her listening habits are skewed because of how much she's listened to this. Track six, Pretty Please, has me thinking thoughts. Why is there a picture of Gwen Stacy from Spider-Man, you may ask? It's because that character put me through a lot. That ending was not okay. Anyway, track seven, Hallucinate, I think is my favorite track on the album at the moment. First, we have a screenshot of the amount of sleep that I get usually on a Sunday night, which is when I upload videos. And things just go south around about 2 a.m. Then we have a screenshot when Lady Gaga tweeted that she didn't know Ninja. We've got a fantastic picture of Charlie XCX, arguably my favorite picture of Charlie XCX. This is just such a serve and Kim's getting a gun. And that absolutely 100% summarizes Hallucinate Track 7, which is a 10 out of 10. Things take a turn on Track 8, not in terms of quality, it's still a 10 out of 10, don't get it twisted, but it's a sad 10 out of 10. But then I don't even know if it's really a sad song, but it's just like, so we've just come from track seven, it was a party, you know, we had cake, and I've brought that cake with me to track eight, and then I've realized this right here might make a bitch cry. On first listen of track nine, Break My Heart, I was prepared for a sad bop, and yet suddenly I'm zooming across the stage. And again, this song makes me want to run into a wall, but in the same way that Womanizer does. Does that make sense? I can't explain the violin, but wow. A moment most pleasing to me in my career, track 10. These pictures tell a story, but I wanted to point out the Animal Crossing bed. So throwback to when I was working in an engineering job and I started playing Mario Odyssey on my Switch 
And when I'd go to work, I'd listen to the 21 Savage album and play the Mario Odyssey game. So now I can't do one without thinking of the other. Literally every single time I see a picture of Mario, I think of 21 Savage. And I've started listening to this album while playing Animal Crossing. And every time I see this wooden bed, I think of the song Good in Bed. And that's on, what is that on? Pavlov's dog? Am I Pavlov's dog? And then we rounded out with track 11, Boys Will Be Boys. And Dua made so many points with this, and I've just been waiting for the right time to use that first meme, and it's finally arrived. So to summarize, this album is full of tracks that are 10 out of 10 each, thus averaging out to a 10 out of 10. There's some maths for you. Dua, you absolutely went off. You went off like the cheese that's in my fridge in Melbourne that I won't be able to get to for at least like a month and a half until quarantine ends. That's how far you went off. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, let me know in the comments. Maybe let me know what your favorite song on the album is. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you again, Dua Lipa. And I hope you all have a fantastic couple of days and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. It's Christmas. Let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.